how are you doing? I hope you are doing well, you are fine. So, what's the difference between can you show me the way? Could you show me the way? There is a difference. When you say can you show me the way, you are talking to a friend. When you sh we say could you show me the way, you are talking to someone you respect. Now, what's the difference between thanks and thank you? Now, thanks is used when you are talking to a friend. When you want to use polite language, formal language, we say thank you. Now, this is in speaking. So, in the writing, you may write a letter to your friend that you don't care about language, so you are using informal language. When you are writing a formal letter, you are writing to manager, director, president, boss, etc. So you care about language, you use formal language. Now today we are going to see uh, the format or the layout of a formal letter. Okay? So here is a letter. Okay? So Hassan Jabri is writing a letter. So, here you have in the letter, you have some words that may help you understand this letter. Here you see fabric. Fabric is clothes. These are fabric. Fabric is clothes. And factory, it's a big building. There are machines where we make clothes where we make clothes. So here you have thus, when you want to connect two sentences to give results. For example, my friend sometimes forgets books. Thus, his or her teacher gets angry with him. Peter drives fast, thus he makes accidents. Now when you give results, here when you want to add information, you give more information, okay? So, for example, you say, in free time, I watch TV, moreover, I do my homework. Here you have the word violate, okay? So you can see, to violate, the, uh, here you have violate, violate. When you say violate, when you don't respect, you don't show respect to people or to the law. So if you drive fast, you violate the law. Now, can you please read the text, okay? Then we are going to move to some questions related to the text. So, Okay. So, you are reading. Don't care about difficult words. Don't care. You may understand them from the context, from the letter. They may not distort the meaning. Okay? Don't care about new words. Do you understand them from the context? Okay? So, let's move to questions. So, in this letter, Hassan is writing to. Is he writing to the, to the writer's friend or the president of Human Rights Association or is he the writer's student? So, the president of a human rights association. Let's move to question number two. So the answer is B. Let's move to question number two. Why is Hassan writing this letter? Can you please work with someone sitting next to you? Partner, someone sitting next to you in the house or wherever you are watching, uh, where you are reading this text. So. 
Why is Hassan? So why is Hassan writing this letter? Okay, as you can see the answer from the first line. So Hassan is writing to tell the president or to inform the president about his students. So why is Hassan writing this letter? So Hassan is writing this letter to inform the president about his students' life and the relation with parents. Which human right is violated in the letter? Which human right is violated? So it's... Uh, the right to... I hope you have guessed. So the right to education. Let's move. So here you have to write the number of each element. So let me go back to... So closing, writer's name, the main body, salutation, address, date. Now these are very important. So the layout, the format of a formal letter. The format or the layout of the letter. So closing is closing, writer's name, the main, the main body, Salutation, address and date. So, what about the first one? That's the address, that is number one. And the second one is the date. Here you have salutation. Here you have the main body. Here you have closing, and here you have the writer's name. So closing is number five. Writer's name is number five, six. The main body is number four. Salutation is number three. Address is number one date is number two let's move so here you have some expressions and some functions can you please match so here is the first one you have expressions and you have functions so the first one read the first one so what is the answer? So that is opening, when you open the letter. So it is C. Number two, I would let you, I would like to let you know that. So what are you doing here? So here you are giving what? You, are, you want the other person to know something. So it's answer. Huh? Have you guessed? So it's answer F. You are providing. To provide is to give. Supply. To provide is to give information. What about number three? Yours sincerely. That is D. Closing. When you want to close. Okay? Could you please? So here you are asking someone to do something for you. Okay? So could you please? I would be grateful. What is meaning of grateful? Thankful. So that is to make what? Request. Okay, when you ask someone to do something for you, you say, please, can you or could you? Now, can you is we use with friends. Could you is used in a polite formal language. Please accept apologies. What is apologies when you say, I'm sorry? That is to apologize. So what is the answer? So that is uh, E, letter E. And the last one, 
I suggest that. I suggest that, that is suggestion. Now read the extracts of human rights violations in different parts of the world and go back to United the Declaration of Human Rights. So, and find out which human rights is violated. So, UDHR, that is Declaration of Human Rights. So, the government punishes a couple for having a second child. So, that is the article. So, I want to help you. You can go back to Unit 9 and search for the answer. So, that is Article uh, 16. Okay, Article 16, the right to marriage and family. What about the second one? A criminal is held in prison for months without being charged or judged. That is Article 11. Everyone is considered innocent until proven guilty. Now, you should not be taken to prison or you should not wait for a judgment or being charged if you don't have, if there is no evidence or proof. So if there is no evidence or proof, you are innocent. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. That is Article 16. That is Article 11. 11. Women in some countries are not allowed. What is are not allowed? They don't have the right. They don't have permission to go to school or hold jobs. Now here, as it is the article in the text, so it may be of education. We may talk about Article 1, which is for equality, the right to equality. So, now we are going to move to practice, okay? So you read about the aforementioned, that is the aforementioned, previously mentioned human rights violations in the news, okay? So, write a formal letter to the President of Human Rights Association telling him about the news. Now, the prompts, ideas, hints, cues uh, may help you to write. So, you pay attention to tell him or her about the news, maybe him if it is a man, her if woman, and tell him about the article from Declaration of Human Rights, okay, and you suggest what should be done. So here you use expressions of suggestion. I suggest we should, okay. Then, uh, respect the format of a formal. Now we say the format or, as I said in the beginning, the layout of a letter, the layout. Now you pay attention. And use expressions in activity four. So expressions may help you. Words to connect sentences. Moreover, thus, in addition, etc. So thank you for your attention and I hope you will write this letter, okay, for training and practice. Thank you.